UMass Boston Baseball looking to stay alive in the Little East Conference Tournament, taking on the top seed Rhode Island College Anchorman. Earlier this year, the Beacons were swept by the Anchorman at home, but today would be a different story. Fielding errors would eat up Rhode Island College in this one. Isaiah Rivera's fielding error leads to a Craig Corliss RBI single. UMass Boston goes up one to nothing, and the errors would continue early on for Rick as a wild pitch here by Terry Murray is going to score Nick Palma from third, 2-0 UMass Boston. And a little while later, Justin Gavea is going to reach base safely after Cole Pottenwarney's fielding error. And the Beacons stay alive in the inning, and it leads to a third run in just two innings against Terry Murray as Drew Metzdorf's RBI single up the middle puts the Beacons ahead 3-0. But the Anchorman would fight back in the third, and Lucas McElroy would get them on the scoreboard with his RBI single, Anchorman would have five singles in six batters with one out against Ross Dexter to make it a 3-2 to two ball game as Pottenwarney makes up for the error with an RBI single of his own there. But the Beacons would blow this one open in the fifth, a five-run fifth inning capped by Gianni Zerilli Jr.'s seventh home run of the season, a team leading seventh home run of the year, puts the Beacons ahead 6-2 to two. as you see the team Fired up over this one. Momentum all in favor of UMass Boston. They continue to roll in this inning against Terry Murray a little while later. It's going to be yet another error as David Iancilli on the double steal is going to throw it in the left field. And just like that, Luke Levitt's going to score. It's 7-2. to Then Boston Burris caps off the inning with an RBI single. 8-2 to two, UMass Boston, and then they get one more in the sixth inning on a Nick Palma double down the right field line, a ground rule double scoring. Craig Corliss makes it 9-2. to two. Rhode Island College would get a run back in the eighth to make it 9-3, to three, but the Beacons win this one after Ross Dexter goes six innings, giving up just two runs on seven hits, nine strikeouts, two walks. Terry Murray takes the loss after six innings, 14 hits, the most he's given up in an outing this year. Nine runs, seven earned. Those runs were the most given up in his last five starts combined. Four strikeouts, one walk. The Beacons survive. will advance to day three of the LEC tournament, taking on Castleton University, the sixth seed who knocked off UMass Dartmouth earlier in the day at 11.30 a.m. tomorrow.